pi is one of the most fascinating and one of the most studied irrational number. Pi, the 16th digit of the Greek alphabet, is the symbol denoting the ratio of the circumference of the circle to the diameter of the circle, which means for all circles with finite radii, the ratio circumference or diameter is the same number or the same constant and that constant is denoted by pi. The symbol pi was devised by British mathematician William Jones in 1706 but it was later adopted and popularized by Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler. Pi is also called the Archimedes constant as Archimedes was the first mathematician to give a method for calculating the decimals of pi to any desired degree of accuracy. Pi is also called the transcendental number. The transcendence of pi means it is not the root of any polynomial with rational coefficients. From geometrical algorithms and procedures to continued fractions and infinite series, proving the irrationality of pi contains it all. But to explain the irrationality of pi at an elementary level, the mathematicians provide with the logic that pi is irrational because the ratio circumference or diameter is irrational being the ratio of the rational and irrational number or the other way around. Being an irrational number, pi cannot be expressed as a common fraction or in the form of p over q. Equivalently, it is decimal, never ends and never settles into a permanently repeating pattern. But still, some fractions, both rational and irrational, like that of 2207, triple Nelson by 106 and many others are used to approximate pi because in practical problems and calculations involving pi, approximating pi with minimum error becomes very important. The famous Archimedes approximation was The Archimedes method of pi approximation was based on the fact that perimeter of a regular polygon of n sides inscribed in a circle is smaller than the circumference of the circle whereas the perimeter of a similar polygon circumscribed about the circle is greater than the circumference of the circle and by making the number of sides of the regular polygon sufficiently large the two perimeters will approach arbitrarily close to the circumference of the circle one from the above the other from below Archimedes started with the hexagon and progressively doubling the number of sides to 12, 24, 48 and finally to 96 and thus obtained a lower bound for pi. And then again he flipped the hexagon and circle and successively increased the number of sides to 96 and obtained the upper bound for pi. Thus the Archimedes bounds for pi were. But it was later Heron who adds, since these numbers are inconvenient for measurements, they are reduced to the smaller fractions, namely 22 over 7. Thus, the Heron's approximation was. Aryabhat in his book Aryabhatiya estimated pi as 3.14156. He writes, add 4 to 100, multiply by 8, and add another 62,000. The result is approximately the circumference of the circle of which the diameter is 20,000 and thus this approximate is pi to 3.1416. Aryabhat also approximated pi by Archimedes polygons with 384 sides and diameter of the circle as 100. Brahmagupta also approximated pi by taking the ratio of under root 1000 by 10 the other famous ancient approximations are
From 16th century onwards, the mathematicians define it and approximate it pi by infinite series and continued fractions. In fact, every irrational number can and is, including pi, represented by an infinite series of nested fractions called the continued fractions. And truncating the continued fraction at any point gives a rational approximation for the irrational number. In 1593, Frankos Wied found an ice-breaking irrational product for pi. Thus, Wied was the first mathematician in the history of pi to represent pi as an analytical expression of infinite sequence of algebraic operation. In 1656, John Wells finds an infinite rational product for pi, which was more competent than White's irrational product as it did not contain the manipulations of the square roots. The first ever infinite series for pi was due to James Gregory and Gottfried Leibniz called the famous Gregory Leibniz series. In 1671, Gregory finds the infinite series for inverse tan and three years later, Leibniz found the inverse tangent series for pi. Euler around 1750 derived many continued fractions for pi and pi square. He also laid the foundations for irrationality of pi and later suggested pi to be a transcendental number. The irrational to a pi was established in 1767 by John Lambert. The irrational to a pi wiped all the hopes that pi might be square root of a rational number. The transcendence of pi was proved in 1882 by Lindman. The transcendence of pi ended the age-old ancient problem of squaring the circle with no solution. The Indian mathematical genius Ramanujan is believed to have damned pi. He derived many continued fractions for pi and also approximated pi by other irrational numbers. And few of those approximations are Pi is also approximated by the famous golden ratio and the transcendent number E. The 20th century approximations of pi are computer oriented with the first approximation being done in 1949 and the latest development being that it is computed to 7 trillion numbers and it keeps going on and on forever. So we end here the unending fantasy of pi with these remarkable facts.